Hey everybody, Mr. C here, and I'm going to go over some absolute value inequality rules. Uh, this is a table that's on page 3 of the section 1.7 note packet. Uh, but right off the bat, I want to mention that uh, there's a little bit of a typo here. It should say absolute value inequality rules. So if you want to go ahead and insert, insert the word value between absolute and inequality, go right ahead. Uh, but basically, these are rules that we'll be going over in class, uh, well, at least applying them. Uh, for right now, I'd like to go ahead and establish these rules for you. And there are four different cases that we're going to land in. Uh, first of all, notice that in each row, I have the absolute value notation around um, what's supposed to be an algebraic expression, u. And uh, this uh, letter A right here is meant to represent some sort of positive number. All right, so if we look at the first row, this is saying that the absolute value of u is less than a. All right, clearly the second row would be uh, read as the absolute value of u is less than or equal to a. And then the last two rows involve the inequality symbol greater and also greater than or equal to. Uh, so what I'm going to do is show you the rules that correspond to each of these, what are known as absolute value inequalities. And these are rules that we'll be applying to solve the next two examples in the uh, note packet. All right, well, let's go ahead and start with the first row. To say that the absolute value of u is less than a really means an and compound inequality. Check it out. If we had the absolute value of u is less than a, here's what this really means about the expression u. Uh, u is going to be less than a, but at the same time, negative a is going to be less than u. So this type of absolute value inequality breaks up into a compound inequality, in particular, the and compound inequality. The absolute value inequality in row two is done in a very similar fashion. This is going to split up into an and compound inequality as well. All right, so basically, we're going to write this down again, but we'll include the bars underneath each of the inequality symbols. So here we go. Negative a is less than or equal to u which is also less than or equal to a. Now for the other inequality symbols, these are, these are both going to break up into a compound inequality. But whereas the first one split up into the and compound inequality, the last two absolute value inequalities will split up into the or compound inequality. And I'll explain why that is in just a little bit. But for now, to say that the absolute value of an expression is greater than some positive number a really means this. The expression u is greater than a, keyword here, or u. And then here's a kind of a tricky part that you guys are going to want to uh, make sure that you have down pat moving forward. Um, for the second inequality here, we actually do two changes. Uh, first of all, we reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. And what I mean by that is the first inequality involved greater than. The second inequality here is going to involve less than. Okay, so that's a major change. Uh, another major change is that we take the opposite of the value of a. So it's going to be u is less than negative a. All right, and I'll explain why that is in just a little bit as well. All right, so two major changes with the or uh, the absolute value inequality involving greater. All right, so it breaks up as an or compound inequality, u is greater than a, or u is, and then two changes, less than negative a. Now, in a very similar manner, the last absolute value inequality is going to split up as an or in the following way. u is greater than or equal to a, or u is less than or equal to negative a. All right, so just want to, again, reiterate the fact that there are two major changes when you go to, uh, or when you're working with the absolute value inequality involving greater. All right, so again, that second inequality, the symbol switches or reverses, and also we change the sign of the uh, value of A that we started out with. All right, now I'm going to show you a really corny trick which helped me get all this stuff sorted out when I was first learning it. It all is based on reading the absolute value inequality from left to right. So let's start with the first absolute value inequality. This is saying that the absolute value of an expression u is less than some sort of positive number a. 
So this involves the absolute, uh, I'm sorry, the inequality symbol less than. The second absolute value inequality also involves the inequality symbol less than, but of course it's less than or equal to. So with that said, I like to consider absolute value inequalities of these format as the less than absolute value inequalities. I'm going to go ahead and write it out, and I'll, I'll actually write it out as a typo. So I'm going to write those as less than. See what I did there? So believe it or not, that actually helped me out tremendously. If you guys want to go ahead and use that, uh, you know, f for help with your homework and everything like that, by all means, go ahead and do so. Whatever helps you out. Now the last two absolute value inequalities involve the greater symbol. And so for that reason, I like to call these absolute value inequalities the greater absolute value inequalities. And I'm going to go ahead and write that out again with a typo. Great tour. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about them, feel free to contact me. Otherwise, I appreciate you watching. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and explain why we break these up the way we do. But for now, that's it. Thank you.